Hello and welcome to Objectively Speaking. My name is Vladi Fittis and I am the Curator of History and Registrar here at Peoria Riverfront Museum. Today we are talking about the historic white cane. This was the first white cane with a red tip innovated here in Peoria, Illinois. Peoria was also the first to produce a white cane ordinance in 1932. This month we are looking forward to October 15th, which is National White Cane Day. And with me to talk about the white cane history is Paula Balistreri from the Central Illinois Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Paula? Thank you, Lottie. I'm very pleased to be here and talk about the long white cane. Peoria is a community that has been known for innovations and this cane has its roots right here in Peoria. It started out as a random act of kindness, if you will. There was a man, his name is Elmer Thomason, who had a newsstand near where the Pier Marquette is today. He had lots of friends, he was very well known in the community, and he was blind. One day, he was trying to navigate through traffic because even back in the late 1920s and early 30s, there was traffic in Peoria. And the per person, George Bonham, who is the president of the Lions Club, noticed how much difficulty Elmer was having crossing the street. So he befriended Elmer and decided that there must be something that they could do. They experimented with some of Elmer's canes that he already had. And the first thing that they did was they painted one of his canes white. That was great. It helped identify Elmer as someone who was blind, but it didn't really help him a whole lot. So then what they did was they added the red to the end. That red is symbolic because for people driving, they know red means stop or danger or be careful. So when they added the red, all of a sudden, this cane right here helped people with visual problems become noticeable and people knew that they couldn't see. Now, the one thing about this cane is it was one of Elmer's original canes. And so it was also used um, to help with stability. But the long white cane today is not. It is a navigational tool and it is a tool to help identify someone who is visually impaired. So now this cane here, which was wood, has turned into one that has all kinds of technological um, features. Interestingly, after Elmer passed away, this cane was lost. In fact, it was lost until the early 1970s when Elmer's daughter got to thinking about it and was able to go back to her childhood home and do a search. She looked all over, couldn't find it, went up to the attic and felt around a chest and tucked in behind that chest was this long white cane. So it was recovered and now it sits here in the Peoria Museum.